Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the hopeful elect, Shalom. Yahweh Shah in the house of David will get the earth back in order. Yahweh Shah in the house of David will get the earth back in order. And I'm going to read the scripture to set the tone for this lesson. All right. Revelation chapter 20, verse four. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them that they are the elect, the 144,000. Okay. And judgment was given unto them. Judgment going into justice. Okay. Power, authority. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. For the witness of Yahweh Shah and for the word of Yahweh. And these are members of the elect that will be martyrs, okay? Witnesses that will be put to death. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And this is why, okay? They didn't take the karagma, ultimately. They didn't bow to the image, they didn't bow to the system, and they didn't take that karagma. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach, Yahawashai, a thousand years. And during this period of time, this is them getting the earth back in order. This isn't saying that they're going to be on the earth for only a thousand years, then go to the spiritual realm. All right. This is them setting the groundwork or the foundation for the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Paying the nations back double for what they've done to the nation of Israel. Conditioning the other uh, nations. All right. Basically breaking them into submission. Hey, just like they did with us. It said how we will serve our enemies for the one of all things. You know, in hunger and thirst and in nakedness and, and for the one of all things. And they will put a yoke of iron around our necks. Until they have destroyed us. Now, why are we not wearing yokes of iron around our neck today? Because mentally they destroyed our people. Okay. When you look at everything that's going on, as far as how our people are more ready to beat each other's necks than you know taking it to the the, uh, the Edomites, Jake will kill another Jake before they'll even dare look at an Edomite. Because they're destroyed And it goes on and on man Okay The, the self hatred Poor self image Insecurities Alright I mean all that That's all encompassed in the curses But the point is The nations will experience that same thing During that thousand year period And like I said It's setting the, uh, the groundwork for the kingdom of heaven. And since I spoke on that. All right. Give me a second here. Revelation chapter 18. Verse six. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Beginning with Babylon the great being destroyed. But also. The Edomites and the other nations getting paid back for what they did to us. All right. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Pay her back and double unto her, double according to her works. So that's going to begin with America, you know, being obliterated by those nuclear missiles. The nation's paying this place back, but also that goes into how the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. All right. And when I say kingdom heaven being set up, I'm talking about the nations getting paid back double for what they did to us. All right. Babylon the Great is going to get paid back, but also the Edomites and other nations as a whole are going to have to pay for what they did to us. Reward her even if she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. Right. And when you think about the timeline of our captivity, 
which that's also in Revelation 20 of chapter from the uh, the late 1400s up until today. There's over 500 years. So what's double that? A thousand years. All right. And that's simple. Now. You can go from there. To the book of Isaiah. Chapter 49, because basically when we think about Yahweh Shai and the elect. What they're going to do is really going to, you know, restore life unto everything on the earth. That's why this has to happen. All right. This place has to be destroyed and the Lord has to come to restore order to the earth. And it's not going to be him only, but also the men that were pre-selected from the foundation of the earth. Isaiah chapter 49, verse eight. Thus saith the Lord, Lord in all caps is Yahweh. But we do say Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Thus saith the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee. The acceptable time is now. And in a day of salvation have I helped thee. That time is right now. And ultimately, when the Lord comes to save the elect with them chariots. And I will preserve thee. Talking about the elect. And give thee for a covenant of the people. Right. And that's dealing with the elect, because when we meditate on the new covenant, that begins with Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah changing the elect when he comes back. All right. It's written in first John, the third chapter, how the elect are going to be like him. So how is it the elect are only going to live a thousand years, according to certain men? OK, those men in particular are the Sakari. Yahweh Shai doesn't live only a thousand years. He has eternal life. Okay. The new covenant that deals with eternal life. That's the download. Okay. Brother, speak about DNA. That, that's the, uh, that's the code. That's the, uh, the information being put within the nation of Israel. All right. Covenant goes into contract or agreement. The laws, statutes, and commandments. It's going to be mind-blowing too once he finally does it, man. And give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth. And it's also written how unless the Lord left a small remnant, the, the whole nation would have basically been destroyed. The reason why the Lord is going to have mercy ultimately on all of Israel, it begins with the elect. Okay? It begins with them. Him having mercy on them for their sacrifice, as the elder brother Yashawamba said. And give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth. Establish meaning restore the earth. Basically save the earth. See, this is that real great reset. And his brother's been saying, hey, the brother Yashia made the point, the Build Back Better program that the Biden administration wants to do. This is really it right here. All right. You can only imagine fresh air, clean water. Okay. The minds of the people on earth not being polluted. Okay. Family structure. Everything being in order. Okay. That's how it's going to be. To establish the earth. To cause to inherit the desolate heritages. Which is the land of Israel for us, for the Israelites. But also the whole earth. You know, eventually the other nations, they're going to get to inherit their lands back. They're going to be put back in the lands that belong to them. You think about Japheth, you think about some of the other nations. All right. The Hamites, they're going back to their possession. You know, you got Ishmael all in their lands. See, everybody's going to go back to where they're supposed to be. Everybody's going to be in order. They're going to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. And ultimately, they're all going to have to acknowledge the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shah, the Mediator, Yahweh Shah. Okay? That's it, man. But the point of why I'm reading this is because that's the, um, what's the word? That's just basically the meaning. I'll keep it simple. That's the meaning behind 
the elect living and reigning with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. It's not only a thousand years, but the purpose of the thousand year period is once again laying the groundwork for the kingdom of heaven, paying the nations back double and, and also, you know, restoring the earth. OK. It's going to take time to. Perfect the earth, how the heavenly father wants to perfect it. And also the way the earth is going to be, that's basically the blueprint. For how Yahweh Shai and the elect are going to control the cosmos. Going to control, you know, the galaxies, the universe. It begins with the earth, though. OK. So, yeah, Lord will. This is edifying. OK, it's more I could get, but, you know, that's basically the point. I want to give all praise to our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. Shalom.